Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Tuesday, April 23rd. I'm James Spann. Pretty decent day today. little rain tomorrow, maybe some thunder, but I don't think we have any severe weather problems this time, which is good considering this is late April. Let's take a look at some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning. These were captured at about 5 o'clock. There's a look at the Birmingham Skycam. Off in the distance, you can see the Children's Hospital of Alabama. Look at downtown Jasper from the King Building and not too many folks lined up at the old drive through That's the uh, Tuscaloosa Sky Cam looking down at the burger joint on Lurleen B. Wallace Boulevard uh, behind the courthouse. All right, uh, got a big trough carving out to the north and west of here, and that is going to push a cold front in here tomorrow. But again, uh, thankfully, the severe weather possibilities look very low. Starting off this day with mostly 50s, the exception is Gadsden. They've got 48. Birmingham at 58. We'll expect mid to upper 70s today. Both uh, models are showing 77. Ooh, look at the cold air, though. It's uh, coming on down the pike. You can see the cold front is uh, pushing into northwest Arkansas early this morning. And uh, the colder air, frost and freeze warnings up for places like Amarillo, Texas, Wichita, Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri. Still winter storm warnings for parts of Kansas, Colorado, Wisconsin, and Michigan. Uh, SPC's convective outlook today. This is the severe weather potential. No formal risk. Just that low 5% 5% circle for places like Memphis and Little Rock in advance of the front. And tomorrow, not even a 5% chance here. Just a 5% circle way up north around Washington, D.C. and Philadelphia. As, again, we just don't expect any severe weather. This is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Sunday morning. And the bigger numbers are just north of here, along the Interstate 40 corridor, about two inches there for Little Rock, Memphis, and uh, Nashville. And uh, in Alabama, there's a pretty sharp gradient. You've got maybe an inch and a half around Huntsville, down to not much at all around Dothan. And here, it's suggesting rain amounts of about one inch. And, of course, this counts the showers we get tomorrow and the showers we get over the weekend, at least Saturday and Saturday night. Let's take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the uh, OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon at 500 millibars. Uh, Trough on the uh, upper Atlantic coast. We've got a new trough you can see off to the west. But in between that, we've got ridging, and again, today should be nice. Uh, Partly sunny with mid to upper 70s. And again, you see that cold air not too far away. Tomorrow, here comes the cold front. It'll be passing through this run a little faster, maybe suggesting the showers could come in here tomorrow morning over the northwestern counties of the state. And it looks like about a, I don't know, 50-mile-wide band of showers passing through. And there is a little instability. This is the surface-based cape. And uh, you can see there's a few spots where the uh, cape values are in excess of 750 joules per kilogram. There's not much dynamic support, so again, uh, we don't expect anything severe, but there could be a bit of thunder with that. And rain amounts probably one half inch or less. And then Thursday, a new surge of dry air drops in here. Thursday morning will be cool. We'll be down there toward 40 in some spots. Uh, And then we'll see a high around 70. Below average, but not bad. And Friday, again, a cool morning. We'll be in the 40s to start the day. We warm up toward the mid-70s. So Thursday and Friday look very nice. All right, weekend fans, let's take a look at Saturday. And you can see there's no really big, you know, trough, no super dynamics involved here. But moist air comes back. And and, uh, at the surface, you can see the potential for a few rain showers on Saturday. Um, And I guess there might be a touch of thunder. The air becomes a little unstable, but not much. The high should be in the mid-70s. It's not going to be a washout. It's not going to rain all day, but it could rain at times during the day. So if you got something planned outdoors, be aware of that. Really, it's the same thing on Sunday. M- muggy, kind of warm, showery, a few showers. The high Sunday should be around 80 as the thickness values are coming up, but not raining all day. Exact same thing Monday of next week will be around 80, chance of a few showers. And then Tuesday, a cold front approaches. Uh, the coverage of the rain might increase a little bit by Tuesday. 
That's a week from today. And I would imagine just beyond that, we get back into some drier air. So for the weekend, early next week, some risk of showers on a daily basis, Saturday through Tuesday. We'll check the end of the forecast. May 8th, that looks nice and quiet. And the good news, we, we really don't see any sign of any uh, severe weather potential uh, for the next 15 days. And hey, this is the core of the season, so that's good. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget, if you can, watch us on the live stream of the television side this evening, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show, available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app, and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.